Okay. Hi, this is Ming Lee, and you are watching The Eclectic Show. All right. <laughs> Fire. We we turn the two vibe. lesbians. Yes. Oh, I got. A, I have a confession. What? I have a crush. One. Your feet. How? You only saw them once. That's all I needed to see. Well. So I guess you like corn. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we start the show right there. <laughs> <laughs> Popcorn, cream corn, corn on the cob. The eclectic show. Oh, that Shrimp great. corn. Yeah. That's all right. Wait till I put my foot down your throat. <laughs> yeah. Slip. Wait, 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 hey, look, look, look. Wait till I put my foot down your throat. Pun intended. Hey, 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 hey. Easy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of the eclectic <laughs> show. Yo. How's everybody doing out there? I'm good. Slick is back in the building. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm back. In full effect. We just all right. Alrighty then. Freeze come out at night. So I'm seven. I'm slick. Whack. And we have fire. Hey guys. And we've Whack. got double D's. <laughs> What's up? They dig a sag to the ground, but you still love them. For the first date? Yeah. Well. Um. I guess. Always bring a pretty girl wherever you go. Okay, that's my only advice. Okay. Now, now you guys are together, right? Okay, question. If either of you only for tonight. Only for tonight. <laughs> so if, if if either of you had a tattoo of an ex's name on you, would that have stopped the relationship from happening? No. No. Uh, no. We'd alter it in a way where I could just change it from You know what I'm saying. <laughs> like right. if it was Ike, I'd just put an M in front of it and be Mike. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, you listen to the eclectic show. The eclectic show. So, slick. Yeah. What's a good date? What's, your What's a good date? Yeah. Um, How would he know? <laughs> <laughs> I know what good dates are. Um, a good date is when she puts out. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm, I'm straight just playing. Like I said, how would you know? He <laughs> ain't trying to date nobody. He's just trying to get up in that. No. I I'm, wanna. I care. <laughs> Everyone do it. Good, good. Adios, Cobb, season six. This is Wolverine. Jennifer, the Jersey princess. All right, the rough started. rider in this bitch. We, we got a question. It's called, we're going to play a game real quick. Okay. It's called plus or minus. So let's say you met someone a blind date, either on the internet or from a friend. Would you rather have a plus or a minus? A plus meaning an extra finger, an extra arm or something, extra toe, or a minus? I would have a minus. Okay. I'll have a minus. You go with a minus? I'll go with a plus because I like a challenge. Yeah. Oh, that's a plus. <laughs> Oh, we're in the band right now for Rider Pass. We just uh, re-released our um, EP, Weekend at Kenny's, featuring John Legend, uh, Savvy Bonet. Um, we got some new stuff coming out. So Yo, man, cool. let's get this economy. Let's get this economy together, man. There's babies out there dying. You know what I mean? Stop the violence in London. Um, rest in peace, Bin Laden. No. Um, watch the throne. Watch the throne. <laughs> watch the throne. <laughs> uh, I got a question before you guys go. Would you ever date somebody that has a tattoo of their ex on them? And it's just like their, their ex's name on them? Only if it was my name, Pete. Uh, I don't see, yeah, it's not a, I don't have a problem with, uh, uh, you know, a name. It's wrong to ask, so I can, you know, talk about it, you know, get all about it. It's not wrong with that. I would definitely get it wrong. I actually encourage it. That's what I look for. On my eHarmony profile, it says I want girls with their ex's tattoo on them. <laughs> Seriously. What makes, all right, you know what? what? What makes a good date for for the women? Fire, double D's. <laughs> I'll, I'll let double D's go first. Oh, me? What makes a good date? A man with manners is very refreshing. And? I thought it's a little sexy, you know, but it's not too pushy. Mm -hmm. You know, a um, guy that has things planned before you... He meet, pick, meets you, picks you up, or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. You know, a guy that's spontaneous. And By the way, that that little wait, wait, hit, you just contradicted that yourself. That little sound was a, oh. it was a high five. That was a hand, yeah, hand flat. Because I told her that's one of my 
biggest pet peeves about going out on a date is what you gotta have something planned you you asked me out and you don't put any effort into where you want to take me what you want to do then you didn't really want to date me that's true. Mm-hmm. But then you just said that you have to be spontaneous. Well, no, that's contradictory. I, no, that's not, that's not contradictory because you like things to be planned, but it doesn't have to be like that all the time. You don't have to be tight and plan every single thing. Spontaneity is very nice also. All right, no, that's just confusing. Yeah, you, no, say, no. okay, you, you ask a girl out on a date. Then you're like, oh, well, I think this would be nice. But if she was like, oh, well, yeah, I don't eat Indian food. Then you come up with something else, which is cool. You don't know what a person likes, but as long as you have something in mind, fine. All right, my name is Chef Chris. I'm just on the Food Network currently. I just did another show I can't talk about. But I'm a chef in New York City. All about supporting my piece from the Jersey Shore and YM Magazine. So I'm here to rock out and have a good time because New York is the show. Be like, hey, what you doing? She'd be like, oh, nothing. You'd be like, oh, you want to go for a picnic? I tried oh, that. Oh, that's I sweet. tried that. That's Fia, sweet. Fia said no. I don't, I don't do lunch. I don't do... I don't do... I don't do snacks. I don't do school <laughs> snacks. I don't do drive-bys. I, nothing. I, I, got, I got things to do. I got to work out. I'm in the gym. I'm, I'm busy. busy. You know what? I'll I'm take busy. it up. I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm and you know what? When I'm finished being busy, I'm also a little busy doing that. <laughs> I'm an actor. My name is Dennis Johnson. I currently have a film out right now called Gun Here Road. What's, what's your best advice on a first date? On a what? I'm sorry? On a first date. A first date? Wow. Have a lot of gum. <laughs> All right, thank you. Take care. Let's go. 
Interracial <laughs> dating. What's up with that? What? I don't have a problem with it. I love it. All right, so... Have you dated have you? a Hispanic girl? Yes. Have you dated an Asian girl? Yes. Okay, see? Have you dated a white girl? Yes. Okay. There you go. So, He's international. Okay, international. Interracial. And yourselves? No. No what? No, no interracial whatsoever? Anybody, no, nobody outside of the African American. Oh, okay. So you're a racist? No. Okay. Why not? Because I'm just not feeling other people like that. <laughs> All right. Because you know what a business is, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just cut to the chase. It's the eclectic show. Do you know show. what the business is? I know Asian what a business lover? is. Let me stop. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> Wow. Y'all sleeping. Uh, I know. We don't know nothing about that, right? <laughs> Y'all don't know nothing about that. I, I, I can't talk for the time. Asian... <laughs> I can't talk for the Asian males, okay? But the Asian females... They she Y'all know nothing about time. that. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Sensors. Hold on a second. Sorry about that. Jason the Ruler, what's your take on internet dating? Internet dating? Uh, if you can find that right one, it's a beautiful thing any way you do it. This is why I do this. Oh my god. If they turn around, my god. I know it's wrong. I should turn the camera away. But I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I, I can't. I know, I know, I know what's wrong. Right. I'm waiting for her to go. Oh, I'm a man. I'm a man first, damn it. It's the eclectic show.